Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Lizzie, and for today's video, we are going to be talking about the wretched. This is actually a Patreon requested video. My Patreon mark requested that I review this, so that's what we're going to be doing. So I actually watched this film on Hulu. If you already have a Hulu account, account it is on there. You don't have to add any subscriptions or anything. It's just right on Hulu. If you are outside of the U.S., I do apologize. I'm not really sure where else you can watch this but I'm sure you can find it somewhere for VOD. Now I didn't put it in the title but I am going to be talking about spoilers for this film so just be forewarned if you have not seen this, seen this I would suggest pausing this, watching it, and then coming back but if you're still here, awesome! So this film focuses on a young on a teenage boy by the name of Ben who is spending the summer working with his father in a small boating town and this film pretty much takes off right from the bat. You have this, you start the film following this young girl going into a house. You find out she's there to babysit and she starts to hear these noises. She goes into the basement where she finds the mother of the child she's supposed to be babysitting and the child's throat has been ripped out. The mother is making these, makes turns, makes these horrific noises. The girl goes to run up the stairs and the husband, father, shuts the door and locks her in. You see this symbol which appears throughout the film and you just hear tearing and screaming noises and then it cuts to the opening credits. I like the opening credits for this film. It kind of, in a weird way, reminded me of the opening credits for Final Destination, which sounds a little weird, but if you've seen both, the Final Destination series and this film, you'll probably get what I mean. Um, has this very intense music and blue coloring to it, and it just very much reminded me of that, which I really liked. And I like the fact that it got straight into the action on this film. And then, post opening credit scene, we then go to focusing on Ben, and there is a lot of non-horror moments throughout this film. There is a lot of character backstory. They focus a lot on like Ben's work, on Ben and his father's relationship. He also meets this young girl at work and that is a big heavy focus on this film which I really really liked that. I liked it made for the moments of horror to be much much more intense. Um, it wasn't just completely jam-packed so the terrifying moments were definitely more terrifying and there are quite a lot in this film. So to get into that you find out that the symbol is a representation of this witch which you find out in the film she basically comes from the woods and she takes over the bodies of women in the town i.e. the mother from the opening scene and she causes people throughout the film to forget about their children, uh, forget about other people, but she must continue to switch bodies to be able to live. If she spends too much time in one body, she starts to disintegrate. And one of the things that I really liked about this film is the fact that you kind of figure all that out by just watching the film and you're following Ben along. There is a short research scene where Ben looks up the symbol and he kind of finds out that it's a witch and how the witch was formed, but you kind of already find out that before Ben uh, through, again, watching the film. And I like that so much more than having stuff hand fed to us. There's an unfortunate side of horror where the audience can often be treated like we're stupid. And this film doesn't do that. It allows you to figure everything out on your own or along with Ben. And that's a really good aspect of this film. I also really, really love the use of effects in this film. It's pretty much, for the most part, I believe, kind of all effects. I don't think there's a lot of CGI use in this film. Um, in fact, I ended up doing a little bit of research and I found this really awesome interview on Nightmare on Film Street. If you 
don't listen to them. They are an awesome horror movie podcast that I've talked about before. I highly, highly suggest them. They also have an amazing website where they have other writers uh, and one of the art of, and try to remember to leave a link to the interview down in the description, but I did want to read one little quote from it regarding the F use of FX in this. And in it, she says, one of the many great standout features of The Wretched are the film's frequent and awesome practical special effects. After growing up with a father who helped create visual effects for Evil Dead and Evil Dead 2, it's really no surprise that the Pierce brothers would take the art seriously in their own work. This is where hiring makeup and special effects artist Eric Horn comes into play. She goes on to talk about other works that Eric has done and that is who she interviews in this. Again, link in the description. Definitely highly suggest you check that out, especially if you're someone who is a big fan of FX. She asks him a lot about his background and the importance of using FX for this movie and it's awesome. I mean, you don't see the witch's face in this, but you do see her and the use of FX for her is fantastic and so creepy. Uh, just the scenes where you see her are so creepy. Um, and, and I know I don't talk about this kind of stuff a lot, uh, but the lighting in this film, I, you know, a lot of times I'll say, oh, like uh, it was visually pleasing. But one thing that I thought was really awesome that I noticed during this film was that the scenes that took place at in Ben's neighborhood, his house, his neighbor's house, where the events of the witch were taking place, those scenes were a lot darker and a lot gloomier. There was kind of this cloudy feeling looming over them. And then the scenes that took place near the boating docks, those were a bit brighter. The characters wore a lot of bright color. There was a lot of brighter colors involved. It was kind of almost more of like a safe space when he was at work. And so the colors were a lot brighter. There was a lot more sun. They're obviously out on the lake. That makes sense. But I just love that contrast. Um, and I'm sure that is something that was done on purpose. I would hope so. Uh, because I really like that. And all in all, this film was really, really good. So if you have not seen this film, I highly, highly suggest checking it out. I thought that it was really, really good. So thank you, Mark, for suggesting this one. Um, I can't believe that I hadn't heard about this one or seen this one. Um, so if you have seen The Wretched, let me know what your thoughts are on it in the comments below. If you did enjoy this, please do give it a big old thumbs up. Make sure you hit the subscribe button for more horror related content. And before I go, a quick shout out to my Patreons. Thank you guys so much for helping to contribute to the channel. If you want to know the perks to being a Patreon, links are in the description below along with all of my other social media. And I will see you guys again later with another video. Bye!